In this video, we'll describe how to include known variant structures, such as pedigree information, into a linear mixed model analysis using ASREML R version 4. In a genetic analysis, we have phenotypic data on a set of individuals that are genetically linked via a pedigree. The genetic effects are therefore correlated, and assuming normal modes of inheritance, the correlation expected from additive genetic effects can be derived from the pedigree provided all the genetic links are present. The additive genetic relationship matrix A, also referred to as the numerator relationship matrix, is calculated from the pedigree. Although the A matrix is typically positive definite, ASREML R4 can also handle semi-positive definite, singular, and non-singular indefinite matrices too. This includes matrices from dominance models and pedigrees with fully inbred individuals. If you are new to this subject, you might find this book helpful. These equations illustrate how the additive genetic relationship matrix A, derived from the pedigree information, is incorporated into the linear mixed model. Henderson's mixed model equations are then used to estimate the fixed and random effects. Estimates of the fixed effects are called best linear unbiased estimates, and estimates for random effects are called best linear unbiased predictions. Let's look at a practical example. We'll use the data in Harvey, which is one of the example data sets in the ASREML R package. I'll first clear my workspace, then load the ASREML library. This data set looks at the average daily weight gain of 65 male cattle. The pedigree file is simply a data frame with the following properties. It has three columns containing the identity of the individual, its male parent, and its female parent. The data frame is sorted so that the row giving the pedigree of an individual appears before any row where that individual is listed as a parent. Zero or NA are used for an unknown parent. In this case, only the male parent of the offspring is known. The inclusion of an A matrix in an ASREML R4 analysis is essentially a two-step process. The function A inverse takes a pedigree data frame and returns the inverse of matrix A in sparse form. Note that ASREML R4 can accept the A matrix or its inverse both in full form, i.e. dense, or in its three-column form often referred to as sparse. However, we recommend that you use the A inverse matrix directly provided by the function A inverse. The matrix from step one is then included in an ASREML analysis using the variance model VM function. We generate the inverse relationship matrix by running this command. This produces the lower triangle of the inverse relationship matrix A in sparse form. The attribute row names provides the matrix object with a character vector that uniquely identifies each row. Let's view the first 15 rows. The first two columns are the row and column indices respectively. The third column contains the inverse matrix element. You can find complete information on the A-inverse arguments and output in the ASREML R package help, which you can display using this command. We can now analyze average daily weight gain, Y3, in the harvey.dat file using the information in harvey.ped. The variance model function VM is used to include A inverse in the ASREML analysis. Let's output the variance components. This is an example of an individual animal model, which has an estimated additive variance and an animal model residual. You can calculate a heritability for this analysis using the function VPredict. This corresponds to a value of 0.646. 
Finally, we can have a look at the first 15 BLUP estimates, which in this case correspond to EBVs, or estimated breeding values. Note that we have EBVs for parents and offspring, hence any individual that was defined in the pedigree.